Okay, welcome my math friends. I'm just showing you a little tutorial on this little worksheet for you guys to do during your break. Solving right triangles or special right triangles, finding the sides with 30 degree triangles, 45 degree triangles, sorry about the lighting, I'm trying to figure this lighting out, and uh, 60 degree triangles. So what we want to do is, you know, there's many different ways to approach this problem, but the idea here is to get you to use your unit circle. And remember, the unit circle is revealing to us the um, sine and the cosine, and then you can, from there you can find tangent as well. But we're finding the values of sine of special angles by what their coordinates are. So you want to memorize a few coordinates. And I think I have mine memorized correctly. That this one, this first angle I've drawn is 30 degrees, right? Which is also pi divided by 6. Because pi, remember, pi in radians is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, pi divided by 6 would be 180 divided by 6, which equals 30 degrees. So you want to kind of get comfortable with going back and forth between radians, which is always going to have pi, and then degrees. So the coordinates right there at that point are going to be square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. So that's one you're just going to memorize. And if you draw it, you can kind of see, I mean, my drawing's not great, but 1 half, this should be a little higher. It's going to be about 1 half up the axis. Now this guy here is a 45 degree one. That's square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, so they match. Mm -hmm. And then if you can remember those two, then you can remember that the 60 degree angle, this guy here, is just these two coordinates flipped. So it's going to be 1 half for the x value, square root of 3 over 2. So this is like your reference, and using that we can solve all these different problems. So let's look at one of the problems. I want to look at problem number, I want to do one of the, the more interesting triangles, uh, number seven, all right? It's got a 60 degree angle, and I'll draw it right here. Try to draw this nice and thick. Or thereabouts. Um, well, I didn't really draw it the way they drew it. Draw that a little better. They drew the right angle up here, more like that. Okay, so they're saying that this is a 60 degree angle right here, 60, and they're telling us, you guys see that? They're telling us that this is x, this is y, and then the hypotenuse, remember the hypotenuse is whatever side is away, is across from the 90 degree angle, that's 16. Hypotenuse is always the longest one. So, like you could approach this with x squared plus y squared equals um, c squared or a squared plus b squared equals c squared, you can figure out that way, different ways. But using the unit circle, what I'm going to do is just remember two things. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, right? Sine equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse, and cosine is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. That's number one. And then number two, you're going to remember from your unit circle that the sine of an angle, I just call it sine of t, is always equal to the y-coordinate. The y-coordinate, so the sine of 30 is going to be 1 half, because that's the y-coordinate, that's the x, that's the y. And the cosine of t is always equal to the value of the x-coordinate. So we're going to combine these two together, and because they equal the same thing. So let's, let me do one. I'll solve it very methodically. This is, if you want to take notes, this is the way to do it. Step one, you look at your triangle and you decide skillfully what do you want to use sine or cosine to begin. Now this particular problem, we have the hypotenuse and I have to find x or y. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, if this is my angle, 60, or you could also think of this one, you have 30, you know that. So sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to say, okay, well, sine of 60, that's going to give me, what you want to do is you don't want to do, you don't want to have two variables. You want to have one variable and then one number. So you have to figure out whether you use sine or cosine. Like if you use tangent, that would be opposite over adjacent, it would be x over y, and you wouldn't really be able to do much because it's two, you only want one variable. So I'm going to do sine of 60 equals opposite x over hypotenuse. So I've got part of my equation ready. But I also know from the unit circle that sine of a 
an angle is a y coordinate. So what's the sine of 60? So I go up here. This is the 60 degree. What's the y coordinate? Well, it's square root of 3 over 2. So I know it's also equal to square root of 3 over 2. So that's the step 2. Step 1, set up um, using your so katoa. Remember that? Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse or cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. That's step 1. Step 2, find that, you know the actual value from your unit circle. So now you have a little equation right here. And now you can solve. So the simplest way is to cross multiply. So x times the 2 is going to be, let me write that down here, it's going to be 2x, and then the 16 times the square root of 3, 16 times the square root of 3, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I'm going to find x equals 8 times the square root of 3. And now I know what um, X is, and check your answers. Remember that if you can go online, you can download the answer key as well. So that's the X. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the Y. Similar thing, let me erase this part. So you can pause that if you want to try that. Work along with me. It's kind of cool, huh? Right, that glass. So to find the Y, I'm going to say cosine of 60. equals adjacent, that's the angle right next to it, which is y over the hypotenuse, 16. And I also know from my unit circle, the value of the cosine is the x-coordinate. So the x-coordinate is equal to 1 half. So y over 16 is equal to 1 half. Cross multiply, 2y, or you could just also think of multiplying both sides by 16, right? Multiply both sides, 16 will cross off. It's 1 half times 16. It's going to be 8, or do this, y equals 8. So now we know the x, we know the y, we already have the hypotenuse, that problem's done. So it's that same uh, method over and over again. If you want to watch another one, I'll do another one, but I'll put it on a separate video just in case you want one more. Uh, hopefully that will be good enough. And if you're taking notes, step one, skillfully figure out whether to use sine or cosine to get your first part of this equation, a little ratio, it's going to be either, and you only want one variable, so you don't want to use something that's going to give you an x and a y together. So I have a y and, and an actual value, and then the other two, step two is to go to your unit circle and also find the equivalent. So cosine of 60, sine of 60, cosine of 30, sine of 45, it's all right there. x values, y values for your three most interesting angles on the unit circle. So hopefully with that, you can practice. By the time you get through 18 problems, you're going to have this thing memorized. And it's not going to be something you forced. It's going to be just part of you because you're going to use it so often. All right, good luck.